Well, here we are, Poppins. The Mackinac Bridge and myself on our way to St. Helena Island. So we get to go under the Mighty Mac. Kind of exciting. St. Helena Island is a 240-acre island about seven miles west of the Mackinac Bridge. In 1853, two brothers, Archie and Wilson Newton, purchased the island and established a fishing station in the North Harbor. We were heading there from St. Ignace. There's St. Helena Island off in the distance. Uh, I'm gonna say about five miles. Uh, we're taking it slow. It's Mackinac Bridge. Maritime traffic in the mid-1800s was growing rapidly on the Great Lakes, and the shoals around St. Helena were a threat to mariners. In 1872, the St. Helena Lighthouse was constructed to warn mariners of the shoals. Our first stop in St. Helena was the North Harbor, where the fishing station used to be. That way is north, and that's the mainland, that's the upper peninsula of Michigan. That way obviously is south. So we are on the north side of the island, um, where you can shelter from the long run of waves that come up Lake Michigan from the Chicago area. In this little harbor, there used to be 50 ships or, or more at any one point. And uh, this little clear area, which is kind of grown up, used to be the town site. There used to be a pier for this, for this little harbor. So back before refrigeration, if you caught fish out in these waters, you had to get it preserved really quick. So uh, there was also a cooperage on the island and they made the barrels that you could uh, put the fish in salt brine to preserve it, to ship it out as, a, as an exportable commodity. Poppins loves to put her feet in things nautical. <laughs> Let's head over to the lighthouse, see what's going on over there, see if we can get yelled at. That's the uh, fishing station. There's the lighthouse. Throughout the summer, someone from the Great Lakes Lighthouse Keepers Association usually staffs the lighthouse to accommodate visitors. It turned out today was a little unique. The docks for the lighthouse were over the eastern shoal and our approach was cautious and nimble. While Poppins was enjoying her docking prowess, I noticed it seemed a little quiet when we landed. Today, as it turned out, was an important day for the lighthouse. St. Helena Island. St. Helena Lighthouse. It's beautiful out here. Within a short while, we spotted an incoming vessel that would bring us the news. So you can volunteer to come out here and uh, work on the lighthouse if you want. Oil house, boathouse, beautiful boathouse. Got somebody coming in, I'll try to grab his uh, lines. It looks like the high water and ice has pushed some rocks up. Good morning, how are you? Good morning. Coming to grab your line for you? Unknown to us, today was the day the Ann Arbor Scout Troop was landing a large work party and the Zodiac Thor, with his one-ton capacity, was just the boat they needed. Chuck, by the way. Chuck Ferguson. We go right up onto it, <laughs> and then Mark climbs over the bow. He gets it down, down in. He's got a box for a seat, and he drives up to uh, <laughs> up to his cottage. Well, now the pier took some damage with the high water, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's our project this year. Um, I've got to go scope out that dock. Uh, we got you know, everybody coming in all of here, and I think this is too unsafe to. Uh, you know, we got lots of snakes here. <laughs> And just like that, we found ourselves ferrying hundreds of pounds of gear from the Ugly Ann to the dock, and we loved helping out. We got pressed into service. The last half of the 1800s was an infrastructure building boom on the Great Lakes. St. Helena Island was built in 1872 and is one of more than a dozen lighthouses that guard the Straits of Mackinac. St. Helena was also the first Michigan lighthouse to be automated. I told them I'd give them half an hour to oh, at least get their tent so cool. set up. Okay. 
What does it look like? Oh, sorry, I thought you were one This of is us. Chuck. You can yell at Hi, me. Hi, Chuck. Chuck. This is a large scout work party takes a lot of organization and firm leadership to keep things on track. St. Helena Island has an impressive collection of complex and successful Eagle Scout projects. Much of the lighthouse is a tribute to over 20 years of dedication, hard work, and ingenuity by these young scouts and their adult mentors. This organ, they brought out in a zodiac, a little zodiac, one of their little zodiacs. <laughs> Phonograph, wood stove. Fishing room. Yeah, Are you going to play the violin? Or yes. the be my, I think, fifth year coming. Fifth year? Yeah. Wow. You like it out here, don't you? Yeah, it's fun. Get to hang out on an island with a lighthouse. Maintaining a light tower is not an easy task. Trying to balance historic accuracy and modern solutions against harsh weather is a struggle for those dedicated to preservation. Light towers must be sealed inside and out. Effervescence is the whitish powder deposit on the floor and stairs. It's caused by water evaporating from the concrete and bringing interior salt with it. While it isn't dangerous, it can lead to structural damage and it's a constant struggle with the 100 plus year lighthouses of the Great Lakes. Always watch your head in the lighthouse when you come up to the lantern room. So pretty cool. Up in the uh, top of the St. Helena Lighthouse, get a good view of the Wilderness Peninsula. Way out there, you can see White Shoal Lighthouse, Wagashans Point, Wagashans Lighthouse. There's the Mackinac Bridge, Upper Peninsula, Michigan, Lower Peninsula, Michigan. And all of the accoutrements to sustain a aid to navigation. So pretty cool up here in uh, the lighthouse. Got some uh, scout leaders heading out to the campsite where the scouts stay on the woods. You can see where the high water came in. And you got St. Helena Island all off in that direction. So yeah, pretty cool. Watch your head. In 1986, the Great Lakes Lighthouse Keepers Association and local scout troops began a full restoration of the site after 40 years of abandonment, weather, and vandalism. The transformation has been astounding. The volunteers and their work is nothing short of inspiring, and I'll admit a strong feeling of indebtedness to them. This is the privy. Remodeled, redone. To the tool shed now, the privy covered up. This is Think Keeper's quarters. See where the high water is. Used to be vegetation down here, but all the dead trees are where the uh, water got to. Flooded the trees for a couple years and they died off. <clears throat> for instance, and you can see all the trees around the perimeter. There's water inundated here at one time. This is their current uh, 1K system. There's the electricity for the island. Let's go see what Poppins is doing. Poppins, are you still working? <clears throat> Let's check out the boathouse, huh? Yeah, that's a good idea. So this boathouse started as a project for an Eagle Scout. Rough sawn lumber, um, sawn the old fashioned way. The only thing I guess on here that's not uh, period correct are the fasteners, the some of the hinges and the nails, but uh, otherwise they try to do everything as they would have back in the day. And Poppins and I, while we wait for the bell, are going to take a break because I don't know how, but we were like, they're like the English. They're like, you're the indigenous person, help oh. us. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine, I love helping. So the boathouse actually restored is so the boats can still come up on rails. Mm -hmm. And there is the trolley to hold the boat, which I've seen the boat out here before, but it's not here right now. Comorants, the most hated bird in the Great Lakes. Thor out there, regal as usual. You've been working your butt off. I see you hauling stuff. <laughs> hey, my adventure pants are dry now. I was in the water helping bail a boat. You're amazing. It was fun. Everyone, comment below that Poppins, you're amazing. And give her a like too.
We stayed long enough to share a meal with the current group of resolute volunteers. We swapped stories, discussed history, and listened to the plans for St. Helena, the battle against the weather, and improvements. It was one of those restoring faith in humanity visits, good people doing good things. It was an auspicious time. Go there if you ever have the chance. So that's St. Helena Island. We're on our way back across the uh, Straits of Mackinac to St. Ignace and a uh, wonderful crew here. Uh, the Ann Arbor Troop, Troop 4. Yeah. Troop 4, you're awesome. Keep up the good work. If it wasn't for you, this wouldn't be here. So you guys keep doing what you're doing. They're having a meeting right now. So uh, Mike's on the phone doing uh, lighthouse business. So we're going to sneak out of here. I'd love to stay, but uh, we've got things to explore. So did you have a good time, Bob? Absolutely.